What's up? It's five star. This is my divisional round playoff picks. What a horrible week in picks I had last week. I'm just gonna chalk it up to first round jitters. Hopefully, I can do better this week. Let's see. For the Saturday games, we'll go for New Orleans over Arizona. Now, Kurt Warner had one of the best games he's ever had in Cardinals jersey. Actually, one of the best games of his career. But the Packers defense was pretty shabby. So facing the Saints' great defense should be a wake-up call for Arizona. And we'll see how their defense can do. Because even though they beat the Packers last week, and their defense got the game-winning touchdown, they didn't really stop the Packers at all. And if you want to stop Drew Brees and the Saints at home in the Superdome, you're going to have to do a lot better than you did against the Packers. But look for the Saints to come out and be as dominant as they were in the majority of the season. And they're probably going to put an end to Kurt Warner's career. That is, if he decides to retire. Indianapolis over Baltimore. And I'm sorry to all you Patriots fans, but a big thank you to the Ravens for knocking out the Patriots last week. Finally, this, this year we're going to have a different kind of champion. One who hasn't won Super Bowl in the last decade. Unless the Ravens win, because they won in 2001. But them beating the Colts is going to take a miracle. I mean, their starters have had a long time to rest since like week 16. So expect man to come out and play like the MVP should play. And making smart throws to Wayne, Kali, and Clark should get them to win over this tough as nails defense. Now the Ravens did come close to beating the Colts in week 11, only losing to them 17 to 15. But don't expect this game to be that close. And in the Sunday games, we go for Dallas over Minnesota. Now the Vikings will probably be the favorite in this one, but I think the way Peterson's been handling the ball and fumbling so much, I think the Dallas D is going to get enough turnovers to get the upset. But if the Vikings can come out and play like they did in the last week against the Giants, I think they'll actually fluster Romo a little bit and cause him to make some turnovers, and they'll get the win. But in my eyes, I think the Cowboys have been playing way too strong, and they can almost feel the NFC Championship rings on their fingers. And I think they'll do what the Saints will do and end a historic Hall of Fame quarterback's career if they both decide to retire. But I myself will be rooting for the Vikings, so I would love to see Favre go out on top with the Super Bowl ring on his finger, and me and Jared Allen have the same haircut. San Diego with the New York Jets. And I'll admit it, it was a bad call on my part thinking that Sanchez would choke in the first round. And he proved to me that one day, he'll take his team to the Super Bowl, no matter what team is on. But I did see one problem with their win. They couldn't stop the running game. And that was Cedric Benson. This week they're going up against Damian Tomlinson and D Darren Sproles. So if they can stop Benson, they're going to have a huge problem on their hands this week. But if it's one thing the Jets know how to do, it's end winning streaks. They beat the Colts in week 16. Now granted, that was against the second string, but a win's a win. And the Chargers on the 11-game winning streak. So if there's a team to beat them, it could be the Jets. And I think if they beat the Chargers, I might have to pick them for the Super Bowl champs. But don't worry. It's going to be a long day for Jets fans this week. Darren Sproles, Tomlinson, racking up the yards, racking up the points, racking up the win. Well, those are my divisional round playoff picks. So let me know what you thought. And if you have a song request, leave me the name of the artist and the song title in a comment. So send me your thoughts, picks, and requests. And I'll see you next week for my conference round playoff picks.